Hi, my name is Brendan Avila. Um, I am from Muskegon, Michigan, and um, I'm a Culture Project missionary because I felt a, a very strong pull to uh, combat the culture of death and promote the culture of life um, within uh, my own means and to, to individuals speaking in classrooms. So um, I felt particularly drawn to this mission because for the past couple years, before joining the mission, I had done mission-related work, but really felt a strong pull in my heart for a long time to preach the gospel, and the Lord made it very clear that the Culture Project was exactly where He wanted me to do that. Um, and it's been a complete fulfillment after having completed my first year of that original desire I've had. And anyone else who's, who feels strong, strongly pulled to this mission, who wants to do it, I can't recommend it enough. I think uh, one particular story that stands out to me uh, in the past year where this really came to light was um, admittedly a funny one. Um, there was a, um, <laughs> I just finished our sexual integrity talk, otherwise known as our chastity talk, um, to a group of high school boys uh, a couple months ago. And, um, you know, this, this high school had a reputation for actually being a, a really good Catholic high school. All the boys there were very well formed, and oftentimes they'd speak to this class, and the boys would oftentimes, like, you know, ask questions. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm, like, speaking to college kids. These kids are so well formed and all these things. and. Um, it was a really touching moment for me when one of the boys approached me after class and he asked me, um, Hey, Brendan, um, you know, do I need a cell phone to ask a girl out on a date? And this question took me back and I was talking in my head, but also I was, I was kind of honored that, you know, this boy was approaching me from a really vulnerable and honest question that he had about, you know, wanting to, to reach out to a girl. And uh, I took the time to, to remind him and actually just to affirm his, his desire of wanting to, you know, pursue a relationship with a girl he was interested in, uh, obviously told him that a phone was not necessary to ask a girl out and obviously preferable um, to ask her out in person, right? And even maintaining the relationship after that. I think he was also asking that question, do I need a cell phone to maintain my relationship? And uh, even after that I said, no you don't. The most important thing in maintaining a relationship is the most important thing that's going to help it survive and thrive, which is healthy communication, right? Communicating to your girlfriend that, hey, this is how you can reach me. I, I have my parents' landline at home if you need to call me. Otherwise, maybe messenger, email, things like that. And I think it, it, was, it, was, uh, it was a really touching moment for me because I could see in his eyes, he was reassured by what I had told him. And uh, he walked away smiling. And, um, you know, I don't take it as my own credit for, for being able to tell him that, but honestly, you know, for God's credit and in, in facilitating that moment and him coming to me in that moment with that honest question. So, um, you know, I share that story not as like a, maybe a stereotypical story that you might hear throughout the year, but one that certainly touched me.